welcome back to another episode of Supernatural Eats. Today we're going to be doing Season 4, Episode 5, Monster Movie. And it's also Oktoberfest, which is perfect because it's a big soft pretzel. So today I'm going to be making a big soft pretzel. Now I have half to the recipe. All the recipes I found are for eight soft pretzels. So I figure if I have that, I can make one big soft pretzel. So that's what I'm going to do today. And I'll try and um, compare what it should be to what I'm going to do. Um, and I've, I've tweaked a little bit. I, I've kind of combined a couple different recipes, and including other people's comments who have made the recipes. So um, it's gonna start out with one and a half cups warm water, which since I'm having it is only gonna be three quarter cup warm water. Get the warm water, I'm simply gonna um, run some tap water until it gets warm. Okay, so I have my three quarter cup warm water. To that, I'm gonna add a half a tablespoon of salt, which the recipe obviously calls for a full tablespoon. You can use half a tablespoon. Okay. And then a half a teaspoon of sugar, which again, the original calls for a tablespoon. And as we learned from the infamous Foss knots, we need to pay attention. Boom. Okay, and we're gonna mix this up, because it basically says mixed until Okay, and once we have that nice and mixed, and you don't really see the salt and sugar crystals, we're going to add, the recipe calls for a packet of yeast. So we're going to add half a packet, and it says that it's approximately two and a quarter teaspoons. So we're going to add a little over a teaspoon for that half a packet. Feels like more than that, but okay. Packet of yeast. Okay, we're gonna mix that up. It definitely, I can smell. I can smell the yeast. Okay, and then it says to I'm gonna let it rest for five minutes. Be back here when it's hopefully foaming and working. Okay, so it's been five minutes, and it's not really foaming, but it's not clear. So I'm gonna move on like it's working. And I guess just keep using recipes with yeast to practice because apparently I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so the next step is we're going to add two cups of flour. The original recipe calls for four and a half cups, but I read so many of the comments saying, nope, just the two. And I'm going to use butter instead of oil. So the original recipe I was looking at um, was one and a half tablespoon, or I'm sorry, three tablespoons of oil but you put two in here and then one for the pot uh, when it's gonna rise. So I'm gonna use butter instead. Now the recipe I said, found said an ounce, um, or maybe two ounces. Yeah, I wrote down an ounce. I don't, so I'm gonna put the butter in. Two cups of flour. I mean, I can smell the yeast, so I'm gonna take that as a good sign. And I did also read some of the comments saying they used the butter instead of the oil, and it just it tasted better. So that's what we're gonna do, because that just sounds better. Okay, two cups of flour, and then you're going to uh, mix this until it's dough. And again, the one recipe I saw called for, you know, the dough hook on the, the, the blender stand mixer thing, but I don't have that. If I continue to bake, maybe I'll get one. 
Mixing without a stand mixer gives you a good upper arm workout. Okay, it's definitely dough, but it's very crumbly at this point. Which makes me feel like I either use too much flour or not enough water. I think I, I'm gonna add a little bit more water. I love the recipe just said mix it until it's dough. Um, I mean, it's definitely dough, but like I said, it's still very, very crumbly. Me, I ain't use enough butter. So it was definitely at least the tablespoon of the oil I was supposed to use. I mean, see, you can see it's definitely doughy. It's just very crumbly. A little bit more water. All right, it definitely got stickier. All right, I think I'm finally getting there. Wow, this is hot work. I tell you, this is harder than the two ingredient bagels and the other bread that I made like the entirety of lockdown. That was easy compared to this. All right, I think it's about as good as I'm gonna get it. And I'm making a mess. So now I think it's time to, time to uh, grease the bowl and let it do its thing. Whew. Okay. So now I'm going to grease this bowl. I think it said like half a teaspoon of oil. Just put a little oil in the bowl and spread it all over it. And hopefully that did it. Then I'm going to transfer the dough to the greased bowl. Here, cover it with plastic wrap. And then it's supposed to sit in, I guess, a set a warm place. So since it's still September, it's kind of warm. I'm just gonna let it sit here for an hour. See you back here in an hour. Okay, so it's been an hour. Um, the dough really doesn't look that much different to me. Okay, and I have to laugh. I just hit my exercise minutes. I told you kneading the dough was tough work. So it really, it doesn't look that much different. And now we need to, um, shape this into a big soft pretzel because the next step you heat the uh you preheat to 450 which i've done and then yeah um we're gonna boil it in baking soda water this is where i'm a little like mm, i don't know how we're gonna do that um yeah, see, so the original recipe, you, you cut it into, you know, the eight pieces that you're going to roll into the eight pretzels. I'm trying to do one big one, and again, my dough just didn't come out right, so I'm going to try and form this into one, one big pretzel. So I guess let me get the baking soda in the pot and bring it to a rolling boil so that we're kind of ready for that part. And then I already have the tray with the parchment paper on it ready to go. And again, the recipe, the original recipe says two thirds of a cup in the water and all the comments I read said, nope, only do a third of a cup. Otherwise you're gonna come out with a, a weird tasting pretzel. And again, it's baking soda, not powder. 
I'm not sure what that's gonna do, but I guess that's part of the magic of a soft pretzel. I don't know. Let's see. I mean, uh, this isn't really, I mean, it's definitely dough. Question is, are we gonna be able to form a big soft pretzel and have it stay together? See, it's all crumbly. I mean, admittedly, it does kind of like, you know, when you eat a soft pretzel and you get to the really doughy piece, it does have that feel to it. Boiling the big one's gonna be tricky. I could see how you can get the little ones in there, but the <laughs> I mean, I do have a big pot. I just don't know how I'm going to get it in and out together. Um, I have a pretzel shape. It's not a big pretzel. Maybe we can get it stretched and a little bit bigger. I mean, this is where it becomes very clear that this isn't my profession. I don't want to stretch it too thin, but I also, okay, yeah. All right, we have a, again, a pretzel shape. I think it's falling apart. It's a very thick, <laughs> I don't think I'm quite at my rolling boil yet. Now I need to figure out how I'm gonna get it in the water. You're supposed to boil it for 30 seconds. I do have a big slotted spoon. I'll have to give this a try. Maybe both of these together. It's almost at its rolling boil. So you can see it's still very crumbly. I don't know quite where I went wrong unless I didn't use enough water originally with the yeast. The yeast didn't do its thing again. If I should have used, just stuck with the oil instead of the butter. I don't know, that's, that's where you have to experiment and I usually just experiment with you guys. Again, this way I make the mistakes so you don't have to. Okay, so the one thing you're gonna do after you boil it, we're almost there, is you're gonna brush the top with an egg. The recipe, the original called for two, so I only have one because I honestly don't think it's gonna take that entire thing. So I have it in a little container that I can just put a lid and then I can cook the scrambled eggs later. All right, it, it's, it's boiling, so let's give this a try. I'm gonna put the most delicate part of the pretzel on the big slotted spoon. Okay, here it goes. All right, so I think it's been the 30 seconds. I'm trying to let it drain. Okay, and then we're gonna put that on the baking sheet where I'm gonna brush it with the egg. And you can't really tell, but it did it is starting to come apart and bottom fell off a little bit, but all right, I'm gonna brush it with the egg. This came in handy for more than the apple pie. And then we're gonna cook it for uh, 10 to 15 minutes. And of course, um, you're supposed to put coarse salt on top, but I'm, believe it or not, not a really huge fan of salt. So I am not gonna put salt on top of mine. And I'm assuming this egg wash is where the yummy uh, browned uh, crust is gonna come from. All right, I think I got it. As you can see, this, this side of it's starting to slide, not really look pretzely. But I'm usually only concerned with how things taste. Okay, so again, I'll see you in 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, it's been maybe like 12, 13-ish minutes, and I gotta tell you, it does, it smells good. It smells like soft pretzel in here. 
And it is a big soft pretzel, just not a big soft pretzel. It looks pretty good. It's like, it's not smooth. <laughs> no, it's not. Thank you. It's not smooth, but it looks pretty good. So, um, uh, let's let it, let's let it cool down and I'll be back for the taste test. Okay, it's cool enough to handle now. So here you have it. Big soft pretzel. It may not be, you know, big soft pretzel, but it's a big soft pretzel. And here's the back. Um, so it came out pretty good. I guess I, luckily I drained enough of the water from it. So let's give it a taste. I mean, you know, just take that little piece. Hmm. We'll break it better. So here's, here's the part that came off during the boiling, but you can see it is, it is, a it's a soft pretzel. The thing I'd be curious to try is to make maybe my own pretzel rolls with this. I think that would be really good if I could get uh, the dough smoother and looking nicer. So I, uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed making the big soft pretzel with me. Don't forget to give a like, subscribe, and share. And until the next Supernatural Eats.